Now back to that body cam footage from a fight at a New Mexico State football game that allegedly led to that deadly shooting in Albuquerque. That's right, and this new video shows student athletes involved in the brawl. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is in the studio tonight with a closer look at what the footage reveals. Shelby. Well, Andy and Natasia, we went through that footage from that fight that happened back at that football game, and in it we saw two NMSU basketball players and a UTEP basketball player. Hey! New Mexico State basketball player Mike Peake can be seen wearing a white t-shirt with a rose on the back. Now, Peake was allegedly lured by a 17-year-old girl to the UNM campus a month after the fight and ambushed by multiple men, including UNM student Brandon Travis, who was shot by Peake and died from his injuries. Now, while Peake was hospitalized with a gunshot wound. Now, the 17-year-old speaking to police officers about the original fight at the NMSU football game a month before the shooting at UNM. She refers to Brandon Travis as B in her interview. B was specifically mad because B was the one, like at state game, B was the one who got jumped the worst. Like he's okay. the one who got jumped the most, like the worst. His face, his face was bleeding everything like he was literally on the floor curled up into a ball okay another witness tells police he was also injured in the brawl at nmsu he like upset about it um like i said i was walking around like with a big gash in my hand like my bone was showing hey back up Footage from the NMSU fight also shows UTEP basketball player Mario McKinney, who previously played for NMSU. UTEP sending us a statement reading in part, quote, University officials are currently reviewing the alleged involvement of UTEP students in the October 15th incident at Aggie Memorial Stadium. Now, sources told KTSM that UTEP suspended McKinney from its November 22nd game due to his role in the fight. Now, in the fight video, NMSU basketball player Marcellus Avery can also be seen. Now, Avery was suspended from last Wednesday's game due to the ongoing investigation, but NMSU has never identified who in their athletics department was involved in the fight. Athletics uh, was aware of an altercation with him and some other individuals at the uh, October 15th football game between New Mexico State and the University of New Mexico, and discipline measures uh, were taken at that time after the event. Now, NMSU said last month that no police report had ever been filed regarding that fight at the football game, and Mike Peak was suspended indefinitely by the school last week. Now, nobody affiliated with New Mexico State University has been charged in any of the incidents involving the shooting.